How's it going, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Fantasy Star. Last episode, we left off right at the entrance to the next dungeon. And we were heading for our next boss fight. So let's go ahead and head that way. Make a quick detour here. Not very out of the way, but it is only 30 maces. So back to the intersection. Let's head for the boss. Use our dungeon key here. Now, we could have fought this boss all the way back when we first came here. And we might have had a chance, but it would have been a really difficult fight. As it stands, this should be fairly easy for us now. This is Dr. Mad. Now, as you can see, he is requesting we give him Mayu. We are not going to do this, because if we do this, he kills Mayu, and then we have to fight him without her. Go ahead. Try it. We'll kill you first. We're going to use fire, attack, attack, and win. But considering the kind of damage he just did to Odin with that shot there, you could imagine why we did not want to fight this guy at higher le at lower levels. Because this guy can hurt. And he's down. We get 140 Mesotos and another Laconian Pot. So now we unfortunately have to head back through the cave. And then we are going to head to our next destination. Which is actually going to be the largest dungeon we have started undertaking yet in this game. It is a five-story behemoth. And we are going to be in for quite a challenge. First, let's get out of the warehouse. Okay. Let's go back up to the first aid station. Yes, we need help. Let's go ahead and just top off. We didn't use a whole lot of magic. And most of the damage that we took was already recovered. Okay. Here. I think this town sold the laser shields, but we have already got the mirror shield for Odin and the laser shield for Alice, so gotta walk back around really quick. And actually, with that boss killed, let's go ahead and make a quick save. Now, I should be a lot more careful about how I do my uh, game saves, because there are areas where if you're not careful, you can legitimately get stuck. Where you have no recourse but to uh, turn the system off. 
There's level 20 for Mayu, and learned another spell. Once we get wrapped around here, before we go straight to the next dungeon, we're going to make a quick pit stop back in Gothic and do something I meant to do before we left Avion, which was stock up on healing items, because we're going to need a lot of burgers. Counter rate is being our friend again. There's level 21 for Alice. And an exploding chest, of course. Can't go an episode without one. Okay, item. Let's grab our hovercraft. And we're gonna backtrack briefly to Gothic. Which is a quick trip. Okay, so we're back in Gothic. Let's heal up. And now that I think about it, I don't think Porta this town has a item shop. So we'll have to do this. Which won't take long. We're gonna pass through the tunnel to the spaceport really quick. Now we gotta be careful. Because now that we've reached the point we have reached, any attempt to go through the gates or board a shuttle here at the spaceport will result in us getting kicked out and our passport taken. as the official spaceports have been locked down, which is why it's a very good thing we have the Luvano. And another exploding chest, which means we get to heal up again. But really quick here, without talking to any of the guards, we can come over here, and this is a first food shop. And we can stock up on burgers. We're going to fill the rest of our inventory with burgers. There we go. Cannot carry any more. So now we're going to go into our inventory. 
And all these flashes are just getting dropped. It's not like I care about ten mistas. I'd rather have inventory space for burgers. See how many of these things we pick up? They're just worthless. I can be so clumsy with these menus sometimes. Okay, let's buy some more burgers. Like I said, this next dungeon is a massive five-story dungeon with pitfall traps. All sorts of bad juju. So we gotta be careful with it. And I want to bring as much healing as possible. There we go. Inventory's filled up with burgers. Let's head back through the tunnel. We'll rest again at the hospital in Gothic. And we will head for the dungeon. In fact, I wouldn't even rest if it wasn't for that exploding chest we had. Fortunately, it's not a huge trip from here to the dungeon. Back to the hospital. Another neat tidbit, it said they sadly never came over to the States, but they did release on PS2 a remastered edition of the original Fantasy Star and of Fantasy Star 2. They are just absolutely gorgeous games to look at. I'm very sad they never came to the States. Now I'm only checking in the current church to set our resurrection point here. Because I believe our resurrection point was back at Paseo. And that would make coming back a pain in the butt. Okay, item. Let's bed back onto the hovercraft. And of course, we're barely on the water before. We all, well, we did kill it without taking any damage, at least. This game hates me. I swear to God, it hates me. Like I said, this is kind of the one flaw of this game, but this was something for RPGs of this era, an encounter rate like this is not unheard of. The original Dragon Quest and the original Final Fantasy had encounter rates very similar to this. In fact, encounter rates similar to this carried over into the Super Nintendo era. I remember a in spot in a dungeon in Final Fantasy IV, obviously two in the United States at the time, where I literally took four steps and got into four battles. Here is our destination. And the worst we've seen here is three. So we are going to go ahead and save. And we will wrap this episode up here. I know this has been a short one, but like I said, this is a massive dungeon and I would like to cover it in one pass. So we're going to wrap this one up here, and next episode, we will wrap up and cover this floating tower dungeon. So once again, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please, 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 please
please feel free to like the video, subscribe to the channel, throw any feedback you might have into the comments below. And as always, I'll look forward to seeing you next time.